My name is Kiki Lafont. I'm from Hamilton, Ontario, and I'm an artiste extraordinaire. So what that means is that I have a multitude of skills. I specialize mainly in typography, mural artwork, street art, yarn bombing, and traditional fine art. So that's why now I'm kind of moving away from digital graphics, which is what I went to school for, graphic design, and now I'm going back to the old-fashioned way of doing artwork. Generally, when I create anything, I go by how I feel. So I found if you paint from a place of true, genuine emotion, that good, bad, ugly, it connects with people in a very deep way, and that's just, yeah, that's kind of my style, I guess. I always have what I have in mind, but I found that with anything you have to meet expectations because otherwise you risk going with what you intuitively feel and it's not what, you know, like your, your client or whoever you're doing that piece for, that's what they had in mind. So usually what I do is I just have like some rough sketches just to make sure we're on the same page. Because it would be the difference of redoing a five minute sketch versus taking back that week of my life that was for nothing. Well, depending on the scale, the materials, like there's always varying factors. If it's a small job, maybe a few days, maybe like a week. And then otherwise, you know, depending on the scale, it could be, you know, a couple months. Because this is not stuff you want to rush. Once, there's no control Z button. Once that paint is on that surface, that's it. I mean, you can remove it, but it's so so labor intensive to do that, that everything you're committing, that's, that's it for, for life. I love mural work just because like the color, like it's amazing. Just a little bit of color can completely change a space. You know, and, and I think to myself sometimes like, I don't know why I have this skill, but it's so rewarding to see how it affects people. You know, I feel almost like it's like being a fairy godmother and you're sprinkling the dust everywhere and just seeing like how, how it changes the world in such a positive way. You know, like when I was a little kid, I literally looked up to like all these superheroes thinking, I want to be like that. I want to change the world. And I'm doing all these paintings of superheroes thinking like, I'll be one of them one day changing the world. Never realizing that that skill that I thought was useless and nobody cared about and I would talk down all the time was such a precious gift that is actually really invaluable. And I'm the only person that, not that it can paint, but can do what I can do. I mean, Wow, I only I only realized that recently and it took me 30 years to figure it out, you know?